Right, okay, so this is what we're doing. We've now got this, this, this invincible potion here. Yeah? So if we open the gate, if we drink this, we then become invincible, yeah? Anything we touch dies and goes up in flames, yeah? And it lasts, it lasts for about 10 seconds. Right, let's go ahead and let's make this. Okay, so let me close all of these down and then we can start, have a look. Right, okay, so, so the first thing we need then, we need a new object. We've got our power up speed object. We're gonna have one that's very similar to it. So, so I'm in here, I'm in objects, I'm in level. New object, object. This is going to be called OBJ power up invincible. Invincible. Because with this power up, we're going to be untouchable. Okay, let me make this, wait. Come on. So in level, then I can stretch this down, stretch this out, hide my assets. Boy, stupid thing. One more time. So where is it? Is it in the items? Aha, uh -huh, here, so it's in items. Power up in Vink, okay, so invincible. All right, and this one is yellow. Good. Okay, so we've done that. Now, let's open OBJ Player, which is here. In our create object, in our create event, we already have some variables. We need to add one more. So assign a variable, drag that down, star, Power up, active. Okay, so let's call that star power up active, yeah? Uh, let's set this value initially to false, okay? Like these other variables, we want them starting at false. Okay, now, we've got lots of events. We want a new collision event. We want one similar to this. So we're going to add an event, collision, objects, this is in our level, and this is our invincible um, object. So whenever we, whenever we touch this object, we want to do certain things. So first of all, let's have an if, because we, we want to check if it's active or not. So if our power up, yeah? So power up underscore active. So if this active is false, then we want to assign a variable. Now remember, this goes here. We want to set this, so I can copy this. If it's false, then we want to set it to true so that we don't set it uh, again and again. Then one more here, star, uh huh. Star power up active. We want to set this to true as well. Then we want to. We want one more assign variable. We want to set our move speed. We want to set our move speed to the default move speed. Multiplied by 1.5. So this is going to make us move faster. Okay, so what we've done here is um, we've set a flag to say that our power up um, is now active. So if we come into this again, um, then, then this condition will be false. And we're setting our move speed to make the player faster. Let's set the animation speed. Let's set this to about 1.5. Okay, so a little bit faster. Let's set the instance color, much like we did with this power up. Let's set the color of the player. Yeah, so let's have a kind of yellow and maybe a darker yellow. There we go, like a mustard yellow. Okay, fine. And one more thing. 
we want to set an alarm countdown. That's going to go here. This is going to be alarm one. So we're going to reuse alarm one like we did. And this is going to exist for 600 uh, frames, which is 10 seconds. Okay, so we're almost finished. Now, a few more things. We want to destroy the instance, but be careful here. We don't want to destroy the player. We want to click here, and we want to destroy the other thing, okay? And the other thing is this invincible object. Yeah, so let me do that one more time. We're going to destroy an instance, but we're going to click here on other. Because we don't want to destroy the player, we want to destroy this invincible object. And one more thing. Let's have a do effect. Um, so this is going to happen when we capture the object. So let's have it above. Let's have it medium. And these both need to be relative. Because this is yellow, let's also set this color to yellow. OK. Let's open our room. Room 1. Let's make sure we are on the instances uh, um, layer here. So we can drag this in, press run, and let's see how it goes. Okay, good, so we move a little bit faster. We change color. Okay, fine. And it's, it's going to last for longer than 10 seconds because we haven't done anything with our alarm. So let's go into OBJ player. We set the alarm, but we don't actually do anything once the alarm goes off. So we need to do that now, yeah? So in alarm one, we already do a few things. Uh-huh, let me delete, okay, so we already set the power up active to false. We already set the move speed back to the default speed, and we set the animation speed back to the original one. So there's two more things that we want to do in here. We want to assign a variable. So we want to assign a variable. This variable is going to be called star power up active. We want to set this to false because time is up, yeah? So our time has run out. And we're going to set the instance color of our player, yeah? So this is OBJ player. Set the instance color back to white, yeah? Right, now when we do that. We pick it up, we move faster, and this will last for 10 seconds. Okay, there we go. All right. Now, we want to be invincible. At the moment, we're not invincible. Yeah? We can pick it up, but if we get hit, we still die or we still lose a heart. And that's because we haven't done anything um, with our collision event with our enemies. So, in OBJ player, we've got here this um, OBJ... Let me close this. We've got this event here with our enemy parent. So let's go ahead and open that. And we've already got a few things in here. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Yeah, we've al we already do quite a lot in here. So if the alarm goes off, um, set the color to red, da da da, and so on and so on. This is all great, don't touch it. Yeah, what we do want to do we want an if variable that comes up here, yeah? So now it looks a little bit like that with this blue line here. And in here, if our star power up active is equal to true, then we want to apply to, and in here, we want to apply to the other because we want this to apply to the enemy. Then, we want to create an instance, 
and this needs to come down here on this side and to create an instance of obj sword attack so we want to create a sword instance at the enemy's position click this click this instances this is going to be sword and this is going to be temp and one last thing we want to assign a variable under here and this variable is going to be sword dot visible and we're going to set this to false okay and what we're doing here is we're saying if if we're invincible then for the enemy attack with an with a kind of invisible sword yeah so we're, we're using our sword attack where we are in the game but we don't want to show the sword we want the sword to be invisible now one more thing here we want an uh, sorry not an else an exit here yep so that it looks like this and then the rest of the code let me let me maximize this here we go yeah so we've got something that looks like this if we are invincible if this is true apply to the enemy attack the enemy with an invisible sword um, if the alarm goes off we want to continue doing regular stuff right let's try that So, let me open the gate. Let's click that. Uh huh. And now I can just walk, and everything I touch dies. Oi, what happened? Ah, and then after 10 seconds, it wears off. Okay, all right, fine. Yeah. Let's try that one more time. Oi, hello. Open the gate. Uh-huh, good, good. Okay, fine. Good. And last heart, and we're dead. All right, super. That seems to be working quite nicely. Have fun with that, guys, and I'll see you in the next lesson.